Lieutenant Gren, TSF. We've been expecting you. Gren, it's nice to know that TSF hasn't gone to shambles in my absence. And how about you, an admiral? You might change your tune after you see what the situation is like down here, Karth. I've got some bad news for you. Well, it can't be that bad, Gren. I think Telos has already been through the worst. The one you came all the way out here to pick up? Well, she managed to escape the station. We're not exactly sure how it happened. Well, that's unfortunate, but luckily it still fits our plans. Am I hearing this right? I'll tell you more when I arrive, but the Republic has decided not to detain the Exile and adopt a wait-and-see approach. The Exile? Then... Like I said, we'll talk more when I arrive. Looks like we will. I'm uploading the approach vector to you now. See you soon, Admiral. Everyone hold on tight. We should be putting down in a few seconds. Grab onto something. This is about to get rough real fast. Good to have you back, General. Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad she's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian Mechanic Corps that was at Malachor. Bayadur. I can see how you'd forget me being that I was the only one. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malachor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed, and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place, and this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? Got some news for you, General. That shuttle of yours is done for. Scrap. <clears throat> well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. 
Crashed the shuttle that time, too? No, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kreia. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. But we don't have any idea where to look for the Ebonhawk. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. We'll have to get back to the compound. It's the old Athorian research station, turned into a salvage team staging area. It won't be an easy hike. Zerka freights men and equipment from the landing pad there. If it's there and we can breach the perimeter, there's probably something we can use. If not, we could try our luck in the underground ruins. Either way, it's back to the compound for us. That's the plan. where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. <laughs> Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? I don't think so. You'll have to come through me if you want to take the general.
I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south. Bold. All right. Let's do it.
چین نور تهرم به چا کندیدو بوم را من نیکا دوست چین پالا مولی دو نینا چی وا کتا وینز بگر کن نو چا واتا ما نو سو کپا پوتا برنتابا نین سو چا Jedi saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. We'll see. You may have caught a few of my boys off guard, but let's see how you fight now, Jedi. Attack! <laughs> Let us end this. I'll be able to access the shield network from this console.
Good. It's functional. And my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. 